Hey anglers, it's Al, the Hitman Sims with the Connecticut Fishing Recon Report. The freshest reports online. Brought to you by BlackOpsFishing.com. Real undercover fishing. And the first recon report comes to us from Connecticut Outfitters in Weathersfield. Largemouth bass. Largemouth bass fishing is good right now. Some really big bass have been coming in all week. Guys are getting them shallow, deep, and in between. Reports of over 20 largemouths from some lakes have come in. Also, it's been good in the Connecticut River. Jigs, Texas rigs, jitterbugs, whatever you like to use, the bite has been on this week. Smallmouth bass. Still some reports coming from Bayesian and Coventry Lake, and also Candlewood, with Candlewood being the best for smallmouths. But if you really like catching quantities of smallmouths, the best place is the rivers right now. Willimantic River, Patchogue, Quinnipog, Housatonic, and the Connecticut River are all good for smallmouth bass. <coughs> Connecticut River. Fishing is good north of Hartford for smallies. Kings Island, Scanic River, and the old wing dam at the end of Ivor Road are good areas to try from shore or boat. Swim shads and jigs like the Kaitak Swing Impact are favorites of the Connecticut River smallmouth fishermen. Fish Sean caught several nice smallies on a lunch break from work in South Windsor and had a follow by a large pike. South of Hartford, the river has been running much clearer and the bass fishing has improved throughout the river. Catfish. Catfishing is excellent in the Connecticut River right now and the results of the Whisker Roundup on August 4th proves that. Many fish over 8 pounds came out of the Connecticut River with the winner being over 11 pounds. A variety of baits were used for the big cats. Cut bait, crawlers, and nylon stuffed with just the right smelly concoctions were working well. Pike. Pike fishing is good at Patchogue and good at Winchester and Bantam. Tossing spinner baits is a good method for pike or bass. Also good in the Salmon River Cove. Remember pike love the cloudy days and the storm fronts. Trout. Guys are still getting some nice trout trolling with lead core or downriggers. There's still reports from some nice browns coming from East Twin Lake trolling at 30 feet over 60 feet of water. Stream and river trout fishing remains pretty good for summer trout fishing. Rivers flows are up mornings and evenings when it's a bit cooler have been the best. Good reports from Farmington, Salmon, Fenton, Natchog in the last few days. On the marine report, Long Island Sound is good right now for many species. Luke still holding its own with some real doormat sized fish being caught. The Rhode Island beaches in Black Point and Connecticut are good choices. Look for around 60 feet of water to drop your offering. Sea bass. Bigger ones are here. Many are being caught by anglers fishing for fluke, but those targeting sea bass are beginning to get some better fish. The south side of Fishers, Bloody Grounds, Black Point are some areas that anglers are fishing. Striker fishing is still good with a lot of fish coming from the reefs right now. Live bait is the best method, be it bunker, which are abundant near the mouth of the Connecticut River, or live eels. The bite is better at dawn and dusk or during the night. Bass have been schooling up sometimes for topwater guys at Bartlett's and in the race at dawn or dusk. Blues are around but still not in the great numbers of past years. They may be just late for dinner, we'll find out soon enough. The race is the most consistent place to find the gators. Porgies, good to very good at all the usual spots with some real monster fish coming to the scales. Blackfish, still not enough reports to mention a location but guys are picking up some nice fish locally. Snapper blues are in all the salty rivers and growing fast. Snapper poppers, small caster, masters are good lures to try. Blue crabs, another banner year. Big crabs are in all the usual spots. Black Hall River and Lieutenant River are great choices. Put out some crab lines and fish for snapper blues at the same time. And the next recon report comes to us from the Fish Connection in Preston, Connecticut. Bunker are back in the Thames River all the way up to Norwich Harbor and there's fair fishing for bass and bluefish throughout the river. Captain Jack from the shop tells us that the only place they've been finding consistent bluefish is in the Sluice Way and Plum Gut. He blames it on a lack of bait this season. The bluefish are all full of snapper blues. And his bass fishing trips, the Watch Hill Reef has been stone dead. It's a waste of time. No signs of Bonita yet, but the fluke are still holding their own and they're now fishing in deeper water and scup and sea bass fishing is excellent. And the last recon report comes to us from Hilliers Tackle in Waterford. The big news was a 14 pound .67 fluke was caught in a hole off of Black Point by Toby Sweet just yesterday. This fish is probably going to be the new inshore state record. 14.67 pounds. The day before a 9.5 pounder came in and yesterday a 6.3 from the dumping grounds. 
porgies are in good, especially at Bartlett's around the spindle. Nice sea bass are coming in from the 100 foot hole off of Black Point. Stripers are still steady, and snapper blues and blue crabs are everywhere. This has been Al the Hitman Sims with the Connecticut Fishing Recon Report. Until next week, keep off my bass.